Welcome aboard Cozy Train Stories for Sleep, your ticket to four hours of uninterrupted storytelling crafted to lull you into a restful sleep. What could be cozier than settling in a private cabin as the rhythmic train sounds coupled with a gentle swaying motion create an irresistibly soothing ambiance. As these bedtime stories for grown-ups unfold, travel through time and space with seven unique tales of train journeys. From the Swiss Alps, to the Scottish Highlands, to the golden age of train travel, each story unfolds against the backdrop of the gentle sounds of a moving train and softly falling rain, offering a cozy and captivating experience to transport you to a tranquil realm of slumber. It's time to dream away. Welcome to Michelle's Sanctuary. I am Michelle, your guide through a magical journey designed to help you relax. Picture my voice as that of a cherished friend or comforting ally, enveloping you in a warm embrace as you unwind at the end of the day. You may wish to take a moment to subscribe if you haven't already as sleep may come fast and it will be easier to return to this collection and other stories in the future. We are going to do a brief relaxation exercise to help deepen your state of comfort. Remember, I am merely creating a framework and you may customize any aspect of this experience to suit what you want and need right now. Let your listening experience be boundless like a dream. Imagine yourself nestled in the cozy compartment of your ideal train cabin, personalized just for you. The rhythmic sound of raindrops against the windows joins the sounds of a train in motion. The gentle tap of rain on the train roof and the soothing view of droplets gliding down the panorama windows coax you into a state of utter tranquility. The train cabin becomes a sanctuary, offering a profound sense of security, a space to let your guard down completely. The tracks are a portal to anywhere you wish to go. Embrace and connect with the gentle parts of yourself and the softness of this moment. Sense everything gradually slowing down, starting with your breath. Feel the weight of your body increasing, sinking into the plushness of the train mattress. Gratitude courses through you, escaping in an audible sigh. And as you let out this sigh, your closed eyelids act as shutters, shielding you from the external world. When you're ready, inhale slowly through your nose, envisioning the crisp clean air infused with the sweet essence of the train's aged wood and the freshness of the rain. Expand your body with kindness, not pushing yourself too hard. You may exhale in a yawn or a sigh, letting go 
as waves of peace wash over you. Visualize unwanted thoughts dissipating into the night. Enjoy one more round of conscious breaths at a temple that feels natural to you. Inhale, perhaps yawn, and then sigh as the train cuts through the night air. Revel this time to nurture your inner self with a love and tenderness you always deserve. Your breath gradually returns to a steady rhythm as your head sinks deeper into the plush train pillow. Now it's time for the enchanting train stories to unfold. Dreamy train journey through the Swiss Alps. The Glacier Express is one of the most luxurious trains in Switzerland. Weaving through three cantons, amid the evergreen forests, rolling emerald hills, and turquoise streams, from Zermatt to San Moritz. The promise that comes from an early morning start to travel adventures brings a smile to your face as you walk through the charming town of Zermatt. Vibrant scarlet, orange, yellow, and white begonias cascade out of flower boxes, hanging on the balconies of chalets and barn-inspired dwellings. The wooden facades are in the rich hues of gingerbread and cocoa. Vibrant green mountain slopes rise around the station, reaching for the crystal blue sky as a stray cloud or two drifts above the snowy mountain peaks. You pass a red carriage led by two horses, a frequent scene in this car-free village as you arrive at the train station. The morning air offers a briskness that will soften as the sun rises in the sky on this perfect summer day. You step into the station and hear an announcement for the departure of the Glacier Express. With your ticket and passport in one hand and your bag draped over your opposite shoulder, you find your way to the platform. The ambient sounds of murmured conversations, the air brakes of an arriving train, and the tinny announcements made through the loudspeaker fade into the background. The soundtrack soothes you as you confidently approach the candy apple red train fully aware the day will seamlessly blend from one idyllic landscape to the next. You ascend the steps into your temporary home away from home, greeted by a friendly employee who directs you to your seat. Today is a day for rolling beauty observed from your comfortable seat in excellence class. You stow your bag and then sink into the beige cushioned seat. The pillow perfectly nestles beneath the curve of your neck. Other passengers board the train, settling in for the eight hour journey Panoramic windows wrap around the train car, giving overhead views of the vibrant sky as the train departs the station. 
It takes little time to acclimate to the energy in the train car, which teems with shared enthusiasm and awe. By all the souls who make this trek with you, there is a unanimous sentiment of appreciation and a sense of adventure only enhanced by the 15,000 foot peak of Matterhorn. The formation resembles a pyramid, roughly chiseled by time. The train weaves around the foot of the tallest mountain in the Swiss Alps, the steeple of an iconic church aspires to pierce the sky like the mountains, offering a postcard-worthy view as the train gently rocks you back and forth. You and the passengers alike crane your necks to peer through the overhead windows to take in the views of the peak. You order a drink that suits your mood and peruse a brochure that promises the passage over 291 bridges and through 91 tunnels. Your heart swells with eagerness as today's journey is part revelation and part reminder of the many beautiful things in life you have yet to experience. This trip appeals to your inner child, captivating you with new discoveries that come with each kilometer viewed from the comforts of the train car. Every vista to be unveiled and the self-proclaimed slowest express train in the world offer scenery you wish to keep fresh in your mind. Throughout the ride, a gong sounds to inform passengers of a new view to behold as well as stops along the way. The train slithers around a towering rock wall to reveal a stone bridge rising over a crystal blue stream formed by glaciers. And while in summer, snow remains on some of the highest of the Alps, the glaciers are concealed from view on the train, but they continue to carve out and define the region. The train effortlessly traverses narrow viaducts and winds through looping tunnels taking you deeper into the heart of the Alps. Some of the scenery is so mystical, it evokes thoughts of modern day classics like Harry Potter. The persistent chug of the locomotive becomes more hypnotic as the day unfolds, putting you into a dreamy state. The sheer magnificence of the seemingly endless mountain peaks makes all your concerns slip away. Made small by these majestic formations. The train affords the ideal balance of modern comforts as you take in the rugged terrain around you. The white brightness of morning light 
becomes a richer shade of yellow gold as the day wears on. The train meanders through the canton of Alai, a region known for its vineyards and picturesque landscapes. Verdant meadows as illustrious as those in the sound of music come to life with the sounds of cowbells worn by dairy cows led up near vertical hillsides dappled with centuries-old huts and barns. The chocolate brown and stone dwellings stand out against the endless shades of green that paint the meadows. Colorful wildflowers create a rainbow carpet that undulates in the mountain breeze. The train continues through the provincial beauty as more traditional wooden chalets dot the countryside, becoming more abundant as you arrive near a village. Balconies adorned with flower boxes, overflowing with red and pink geraniums, add a touch of charm to the already idyllic setting. The train continues through the fairy tale landscape to reveal a parade of pristine alpine lakes that are an otherworldly shade of aquamarine. The surrounding snow-capped mountains and evergreens that line the perimeter of the glassy water reflect on the surface of the lakes. The train glides through the region with a persistent motion of crystal clear streams where a herd of brown cows laps the crisp water. An attentive staff member serves the first of a five course meal, paying homage to the Swiss delicacies procured from the region. And as you satiate yourself with the impeccable courses artistically plated, you look out at the living canvas that unfolds around you. The train continues its ascent, making its way through the captivating Rhine Gorge also known as the Swiss Grand Canyon. The blue-green waters of the Rhine River flow below, revealing the path they carved through ancient rocks that continue to transform through time. You find yourself becoming sleepy Dreamy images pass through your mind as your eyes begin to close. The soft gong reverberates through the train, influencing your thoughts as you lucid dream and imagine flying through the Swiss Alps. You drift in and out of consciousness in a relaxing dance, brought back to the train by its tranquilizing song, the soft clinking of silverware and glasses, and the quiet conversations of fellow relaxed passengers. Yet soon the gentle tug of sleep 
and the luxury of a nap have a lure you cannot resist. The train employee clears away your remaining plates and offers a plush blanket. Tucked within its soft embrace, you fall into a perfect nap, rocked back and forth as the train continues through the Swiss Alps. You dream of the brilliant blue waterways and hiking throughout the Rhine Gorge. You feel the sun on your face as beads of sweat form around your forehead. And in this dream, the alpine breeze cools you as you inhale deeply, reaching a summit, feeling your strongest and healthiest, feeling your best. You lose time, slowly awakening to the sound of the gong as the train arrives at the Oberalp Pass. The brakes let out a whispering squeak as the train ascends to leave the lower valleys behind. The landscape transforms into a rugged and majestic terrain. Towering peaks clothed in pristine white snow dominate the horizon. The train winds its way up the mountain slopes, navigating a series of tight curves and steep gradients. With every turn, the view unfolds before you like a masterpiece painted by nature itself. As the Glacier Express reaches the summit of the Oberalp Pass, you find yourself surrounded by heavenly beauty. The landscape is a juxtaposition of rugged cliffs and gentle slopes adorned with vibrant alpine flora, mountainside chalets add a sense of community in this remote area, and the honeyed aroma of Edelweiss perfumes the air. It manages to circulate throughout the train car. You feel grateful to have awoken, to take in the beauty of this region. The grandeur of the Swiss Alps unfolds before your eyes with peaks that seem to touch the sky. The immensity of nature's creation is humbling, leaving you in awe of the power and majesty that surrounds you. As the Glacier Express descends from the Oberalp Pass, you can't help but feel a sense of gratitude for having witnessed such natural splendor from the comforts of a luxurious train. The Swiss countryside harmoniously blends the advances of the modern world with the boundless offerings of the Alps. A seamless coexistence that inspires you. 
For a moment, you imagine what the world would be like if all natural resources were honored, cherished, and protected in this way, lost in thought, lost in the constant beauty. You are slightly surprised when the train nears the destination of San Moritz. Eight hours have passed swiftly like in a dream. As the Glacier Express nears this final destination, you feel you have been changed by the immersive train ride that connected you with the soul of Switzerland. The endless beauty is a testament to the harmonious coexistence of humans and nature, and a soothing reminder of how precious Earth is. As you step off the train in San Moritz, you say goodbye to fellow passengers bound by an unspoken camaraderie from your shared journey. You walk down the platform as the sun continues to descend, casting a warm golden glow over the town. The late day breeze is tinged with a hint of coolness and the aromas of alpine trees and melted snow. You look forward to walking to your accommodations, reveling in this time to stretch your legs and fill your lungs with fresh air. You venture into the heart of San Moritz, a place synonymous with elegance and luxury. In the winter months, the slopes are the biggest draw, but in summer, there is a gentle beauty to be enjoyed amongst the nearby lake and rolling trails. Cobblestone streets are lined with upscale boutiques, chic cafes, and cozy chalets that exude alpine charm. The sun slips toward the horizon of mountains, bathing the streets in warm, ethereal light while casting long shadows in its wake. Beyond the peaked roofs of the chalets and shops, the Alps embrace the region with a feeling of protection. Walking along the promenade, the aroma of freshly cut grass and the cool dampness from the lake permeates the air. You turn, and as you ascend a hilly street, the iconic Bad Roots Palace comes into view. Perched on a gentle slope, the stone palace overlooks Lake San Moritz the 19th century hotel has a rich history and legacy of hospitality. Since 1896, when it was constructed with a chateau theme to appeal to the golden age of European travel, the palace with its turrets and elegant balconies, evokes a sense of grandeur 
and timeless elegance. For decades, palace balls were hosted within the chateau walls, encouraging guests to travel near and far to gather and celebrate. A step through the grand doors of Badrut's palace and into the ornate lobby. Its beauty combined with the views of the village take your breath away. The high ceilings adorned with crystal chandeliers cast a soft glow over the marble floors. While the soothing melodies of a live pianist fill the air. Wide cathedral windows look out over mountain peaks and nearby chalets. You are welcomed by a team of attentive staff members who are dedicated to ensuring your stay is nothing short of exceptional. Throughout check-in, you are made to feel like a cherished guest, returning home from a long journey. With your key in hand, you step out onto the terrace at Badrut's palace to discover one of the most immersive views of the day. You catch the last rays of sunlight disappearing and the sky bursts in hues of cantaloupe, bubblegum pink, and light purple, while the tranquil waters of Lake St. Moritz reflect the heavenly skies with an aquamarine tint. You close your eyes and inhale, giving thanks for the day, listening to the songs of birds, giving praise to the day along with you. The sun disappears, and the air carries a slight nip offering the perfect coolness for a night of deep sleep. You savor the brisk sensation as it hits your lungs. You get lost in the dreamy sky, but maintain a heightened awareness of details a wonderful thing that happens when you travel away from home and all that is familiar. You return indoors, walking through the wide majestic halls to your bedroom suite. As you enter, a clean heavenly smell soothes you. A chandelier hangs in the center of the suite, casting the room in golden light. Expansive windows frame breathtaking views of the surrounding Alps, and the blue light of early evening casts the floor in its hue. The upholstered furniture offers a sense of refined luxury with shimmering fabrics and plush cushions that offer regal comfort. You set down your bag and walk toward the balcony doors, 
opening them out onto the summer night. A breeze causes the curtains to billow and circulates through the suite. The bedroom is a mountainside oasis of tranquility with a king-sized bed that promises a restful night's sleep. The fine, neutral-hued linens and soft pillows tempt you to sink into their embrace, cocooning you in a sense of indulgence. Candle sconces hang on buttercream yellow walls dressed with crown molding that frames the room and paintings that capture the beauty of alpine valleys. Thoughtful amenities are stocked at your disposal and include a mini bar with refreshing beverages and a selection of Swiss snacks. You choose something to peck at before settling for the night. The comforts within the palace walls feel like a sigh an invitation to surrender and trust that all your needs are tended to. The mountain air creates a pleasant environment conducive to relaxation and ease. You settle into the plush sofa and this moment clears any remnants of weariness from travel. You fight to keep your eyes open as a soft evening breeze kisses your skin. With each passing moment, you feel your nervous system and entire body become more and more at ease. The weight of all things that once concerned you are lifted from your shoulders. You slip into a soft robe provided by the hotel and make your way to the elegantly appointed bathroom. Here you stand on the marble floors and take a moment to decide whether to indulge in a soothing shower or a leisurely soak in the deep bathtub. When you make up your mind, you turn on the water and cleanse yourself of the day. The natural soap provided is something new to you with fragrant notes that capture the essence of walking through a meadow of edelweiss in summer. You finish cleaning your tired body and towel off as a heavy, tired feeling takes hold. You dress for bed and return to the bedroom You slip beneath the covers of the sumptuous bed. 
a sense of accomplishment brings a smile to your face. Deeply grateful for all the indelible imagery that will offer you hope and inspiration. Whenever you reflect on your journey through the Swiss Alps, the crisp, high quality sheets caress your skin, and the gentle breeze off the lake lulls you into a state of blissful serenity. And while still, the gentle rocking motion of the train remains in your muscles and mind. As you close your eyes, you let the sensation carry you away knowing it will accompany your dreams. You surrender to the tranquil embrace of the night as every detail has been meticulously arranged for your utmost comfort. It feels good to be tended to and you deserve every moment. In your mind's eye, you see one of the magnificent bridges that you traveled over on the Glacier Express. In your mind's eye, you see one of the magnificent bridges traversed over on the Glacier Express. Only now it exists beneath the starry sky and serves as the bridge that will deliver you to sleep. You can yield to sleep or embark on another soothing train journey. Autumn Sleeper Train, a centuries old train station in the heart of a mountain village has appeared on postcards for decades, luring people to the village for leaf keeping season. You stand on the platform of the station as the October sun basks the tracks in lush golden light. You step out from beneath an awning into the warm sun. A distant train whistle, barely a whisper, foretells its arrival. The platform is quiet and the station is empty but for a ticket seller. You eagerly wait for your private experience aboard the autumn sleeper train, a four car locomotive. The autumn sleeper train will welcome you to the beauty of fall as it chugs along tracks that weave through idyllic villages lakeside communities, and mountainous terrain. Perhaps you take this journey with a beloved pet or companion, or maybe it's best enjoyed as a solo retreat. Every aspect of this train journey offers a surprise, a gift bestowed with the freedom to experience it on your terms. You are given this once in a lifetime trip by someone who recognized how much you deserve and need a getaway. 
where you have risen each day, doing your best in an uncertain world, never giving up. It feels good that someone noticed. Your heart fills with warmth and your eyes soften when you think about how this kind act has changed the trajectory of your year. The delicious details of this excursion make you realize that even in the most challenging of times, Moments like this make everything worth it. And you will hang on to the memories created on this night for a long time coming. They will soothe the most tumultuous times. As you remember the perfect night aboard the autumn sleeper train, Without the sun pouring onto your body, the air might be just a bit too brisk to stand outside for long. But in the brief minutes when your heart is a flutter in anticipation of the train's arrival, the fading sun offers just enough warmth for you to feel good. You revel in the contrast, eager to enjoy a cozy night nestled in a warm train car. The air is alive with a scent of fallen leaves that scatter across the cobblestone platform in a swirl of magenta, fiery orange, and olive. The sky matches the rich gold, orange, and amber leaves as the sun descends behind snow-capped mountains in the distance. The paintbrush of autumn has left its opulent sparkle everywhere, and the saturated sunlight reduces the clarity of objects around you giving them the dreamy quality of an impressionist painting. The haunting whistle of the train becomes louder as the earth begins to softly vibrate. The wind picks up, announcing the imminent arrival of the train. As it draws closer, you feel a smile form on your face. Involuntary and from a deep well of joy as the muscles in your cheeks become soft. Warmth radiates from within, matching the intensity of the glowing orb of descending light. As the train pulls into the station, fallen leaves like tiny dancers pirouette gracefully in its windy wake. The train's brakes protest with a squeal and sigh as it barrels into the station and comes to a stop. You feel the platform shake beneath your feet as a train grinds to a halt. Quietness takes hold. Before boarding the train, for this much anticipated journey, you soak in the beautiful surroundings one last time. The station building a cozy refuge from the impending chill in days to come, stands adorned with garlands of colored leaves, corn stalks, hay bales, and pumpkins obtained from nearby farms. Beyond the dwelling, historic cottages nestle together like old friends, 
unrolling golden hills of the close-knit village. Their chimneys release squiggling trails of fragrant wood smoke into the colorful sky. The setting is so picturesque that you almost don't want to leave. And yet, you know the train will weave its way through the night, offering an endless display of storybook villages and natural wonders. With a friendly nod and a warm grin, the conductor steps down from the train to greet you. She extends a helping hand, taking your luggage and aiding you as you ascend the stairs into the car. The conductor explains the train will depart in three minutes. She invites you to enjoy the lounge to the left as she stows your luggage in the sleeper car. The gleaming brass accents of the rail car catch your eye. Entering the train car is like stepping back in time to the golden age of train travel. The ornate decor offers classic elegance, showcasing the rich golds of autumn and cherry wood panels. As you step inside, a gracious attendant welcomes you with a steaming hot towel that you use to warm your hands and clean your face. She helps you remove your jacket and hangs it in a narrow closet. She then comes back with a wicker basket filled with an array of new sweaters. Each one has a unique pattern from stripes to chevrons to autumn leaf designs. She invites you to choose your complimentary sweater for the journey. You explore the colorful selections and varied fabric from vibrant jewel tones to earth palettes, from cable knit to shaw neck designs. The decision is hard but you discover one that perfectly suits this experience. You take the sweater out of the basket. The fabric still carries the warmth from being stored in a sun-drenched cubby. A clean laundry smell wafts from the threads. You raise it to your face reveling in its softness and fragrance as you nuzzle it against your cheek and thank her. You put it on over your clothes, appreciating its warmth as the cool mountain air circulates from the open doors. The attendant invites you to settle in the lounge as she prepares you for a warm drink at the well-stocked bar. Tea light candle flames flicker within golden glass lanterns placed on the sleek bar and tables throughout the car. Tiny gourds and pumpkins tumble out of cornucopia baskets shaped like wicker horns and named for being a horn of plenty are placed throughout the luxurious car. They are emblematic of the abundance of the harvest season and the abundance this experience makes you feel. The conductor announces that the train is about to depart and the crescendo of the engine heightens a sense of adventure. 
the whistle blows as the train slowly departs the station, chugging through unknown landscapes that promise an ever-changing display of autumn's canvas. You settle in a corner on a plush bench a soft piano music plays in the background, layering with the rhythmic sounds of the train in motion. You find your balance with a gentle sway of the car, nestling your back against ruby and turquoise silk throw pillows. The last rays of magenta sunlight filter through skylights casting a golden aura in the car. The train enters a forested area, and you watch the kaleidoscope display through the skylights as you journey beneath a canopy of bronze, butter yellow, burgundy, and chartreuse leaves. The train tracks are a portal through the fleeting tapestry of autumn. You lose yourself in the hypnotic flashes of color and vibrant clusters of leaves, which are a week shy of letting go of the branches that gave them light. Every moment of this spectacular escape celebrates the season. The attendant brings an oversized orange ceramic mug to you, the kind so big it requires two hands. Your fingers run along the textured winding green vines that swirl and intertwine around the ceramic. The mug reminds you of Cinderella's pumpkin carriage with its whimsy and size. Clouds of steam rise to your nose, delivering the sweet, spicy, and tangy notes of warmed apple cider with cinnamon sticks and a hint of something decadent that you can't quite place. The attendant acknowledges the look of curiosity on your face and explains it's a secret ingredient sourced locally. Whatever it is, it enhances the cider in a way you hadn't expected, conjuring thoughts of wood stoves and nights by the fire as the silky cider warms you. Your attention turns to the changing sky. The forest gradually gives way to a breathtaking vista as the train ascends a mountain at sunset. The sky undergoes a mesmerizing transformation, painting the horizon with gradients of crimson, apricot, marigold, and plum. The valley below spreads out like a patchwork quilt with golden cornfields that seem to wave in the evening breeze. A pond is nestled between the fields and a red barn. Fallen leaves float on the ripples brought on by the breeze. And the pond holds a mirror to the sky, reflecting its beauty. Goats frolic in a neighboring field, skipping through twilight as they too anticipate the inevitable approach of winter. 
But in this gilded hour, all of nature breathes in the wonders of autumn. A mother and her young child ride horses down a winding dirt path that weaves beneath the garnet red and saffron trees to savor the night. You continue to sip on the cider as the attendant brings your meal. A heartwarming feast of hearty dishes that capture the traditional flavors of fall. Rich, creamy, filling. You are satiated in every way imaginable as the vibrant bands of the sunset's display begin to disappear one by one, blending into the royal blue of twilight. The higher the train climbs, the deeper and more sleep-inspiring the blue becomes. As you finish your meal, ending it with a delicious seasonal tart, the attendant brings you another hot towel. She clears away your dinnerware as the candles continue to flicker and the warm light of sconces illuminates the room. She returns with stationery that contains tiny bits of autumn leaves and a fountain pen, explaining that many guests use this tranquil time to write down their thoughts or perhaps craft a letter to send to themselves to meet them in the mailbox upon returning home. Inspired by the beauty unfolding outside the windows, you decide to write a letter to your future self. Reflecting on the serene escape and anticipating how it will change you. You urge your future self to remember this splendid moment, to hold on to the peace and tranquility that this journey through autumn has gifted you. As you write, you realize how easy it has been to offer these kind words to another, but how it feels a bit strange at first to write them to yourself. But as you are in the longest relationship you have in this life with yourself, there is something that feels good in crafting this letter of love and hope. Looking after your future self with tenderness and care. With a gentle rocking of the train and the soothing blue cast of twilight and the landscape outside. You finish your letter, each word etching a memory of this enchanting voyage. The train begins to descend the mountain, entering the golden lights of a village of traditional chalets and a glacier-formed lake. The view inspires a sense of home that you write to your future self may be found wherever in life you go. 
you carefully fold the stationery and place it in the envelope, addressing it to yourself, from yourself. A stamp has already been placed on the envelope, depicting a train traveling through a landscape lit by the harvest moon. It feels serendipitous to look through the skylights as the full moon rises, mirroring the very image on the stamp. The attendant comes to take your letter, promising to mail it from the station come morning, and invites you to follow her to your sleeper car. You rise and exit the lounge, following a narrow passageway with chrome and wood paneled walls to the front of the train. The doors open into the suite, which is remarkably grand with understated luxury. Somehow captures the essence of a farmhouse in the autumn fields with a glamour of a first class train experience. Your bags are stowed on an antique cherry wood luggage rack, and the bed has been turned down with a silver tray of chocolates and a handwritten card placed on the pillow. The attendant insists you ring the bell at any time should you need something and then wishes you good night. You take in the comforts of the room, settling into your temporary home. Flames flicker in a gas fireplace keeping the room warm as a cool breeze slips through the slightly cracked window. The train continues its journey through moonlit vineyards as the green and brown vines take on its pearly silver sheen. The ambiance is most influenced by the varying sources of romantic light. Hand-blown glass lamps sit on polished wooden nightstands and their warm light spills across the room in a myriad of purples, reds, oranges, and golds, resembling the autumn leaves outside. Ebony silk wallpaper covers the walls, where oil paintings depicting the harvest season hang. Bouquets of wine-colored mums in crystal vases and a touch of autumn's rich palette to the room. Their velvety petals capturing the essence of the season. Curiosity implores you to peel back heavy gold braided amethyst velvet drapes that hang in the corner to reveal a clawfoot bathtub in the back of the suite. Surrounded by candles, this deep tub beckons to you offering a soothing indulgence as moonlight filters through the skylights. You begin to fill the tub as the rushing steamy water cascades out of a wide gold spout. 
You remove an eyedropper from a bottle of bath oil labeled Autumn's Breath. You add a few drops and all the enchanting elixirs of fall rise on the steam from the bath. You then strike a match and light the candles around the tub. As the train gently sways back and forth, you settle into the warm comforts of the water, savoring the scents of floating and rocking in what seems to be a -a once-in-a-lifetime experience. An inflatable pillow cradles your head as you rest it against the tub's rim. It allows you to gaze out at the passing landscape through the floor-to-ceiling windows Somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Far away from human souls. The landscape becomes sleepier and dreamier. As you traverse through the countryside. Speckled with changing leaves. And the silhouette of jagged mountains. You revel in experiencing the outside world from the luxurious comforts of a bath in motion. With each sway of the train, you are lulled into a state of profound relaxation. The nutty, spicy and earthy notes of the season fill the air on a cloud of steam that rises out of the healing water. The moon casts a silvery glow on the bathwater surface. A cool metallic luster that enhances the rich, flickering light of the candles. As you soak in the bath, surrounded by the timeless decor and the spirit of autumn, you feel a deep sense of contentment as you consider all the beautiful experiences a mind can craft and usher from a dream to reality. This is a moment of pure indulgence that you have earned. You close your eyes, letting the train's vibrations and the soothing warm water relieve any hint of tension in your muscles and joints. You take your time, savoring each moment as you rise out of the bath and towel off. Flannel pajamas folded like a package and wrapped with a plaid, earth-toned ribbon wait for you on a vanity table. You change into them and prepare for bed. Even as your mind tries to fight sleep, and take in the ever-changing vista for just 
a little bit longer. You blow out the candles and return to the bed. You pick up the ivory card from the pillow, inscribed in gold calligraphy with a Chinese proverb. The journey is the reward. You place the card on the bedside table and climb onto the pillow top mattress sinking into its cloud-inspired comfort as you turn off the lights with a switch. The flames in the fireplace continue to dance, and you will soon give in to the gentle vibrations and continuous rocking of the train, lulling you to sleep but you take one last chance to watch the world unfold outside as the train runs parallel with a sparkling sapphire river as a mist rises over the terrain leaves fall all around landing on the moonlit skylight before flying off and floating downriver. They dance with the moonbeams, lustrous and vibrant, while cast in the indigo blue of night. And without effort, your eyes close like velvet curtains on your tired eyes. As the shadows and light of the fire dance beyond them. And in this moment you carry the delight of this journey into the subconscious realm. Encouraging autumn Paint the corners of your mind with its golden hues and cozy offerings. Allow yourself to surrender to sleep or explore the unfolding dreamy tale. Scottish Highlands Night Train Scottish historian and novelist Sir Walter Scott once expressed, Scotland is a land of mountains, glens, and islands, a land of myth and legend. And what better way could there be to explore this mythical land than by train? The Royal Scotsman is the sister train of the legendary Venice Simplon Orient Express offering visits to romantic castles and natural wonders on various routes through Scotland. Your itinerary includes a departure from Edinburgh in the early afternoon, just after you enjoy a leisurely lunch in a nearby pub, moments before the clock strikes one. You check in with the tour group. At the Balmoral Hotel, a legendary place with a looming clock tower where old world charm meets new world sophistication. Every detail of your Highland tour is impeccably crafted to make you feel safe and comfortable kept from the chaotic bustle of the train station. You congregate with 20 or so other guests, clutching a thick packet of tickets and itinerary with your bags at your feet. The crew gathers your luggage and those of your fellow passengers on the nine carriage train. 
The Balmoral features a color palette of heather gray and rich blue tartan with classic Scottish artwork, depicting all the beauty you expect to witness on your train journey. The host for the tour and the crew escort you down Princess Street toward Edinburgh Waverley Station, balancing your bags as they entertain you with their Scottish brogues in convivial conversation. The air is cool and damp, with a clean minerality and the faintest smell of diesel. Bundled in a peacoat, you remain warm as you follow the crew into the open space of a not-quite-so-busy train station. As a surprise for all of you, a bagpiper joins the procession, taking the lead in full Scottish attire from his plaid tammy, also known as a Scottish bonnet, to his matching kilt. The royal treatment makes you smile. You suppress a giggle as attention is drawn to the crescendoing sounds of the spirited bagpipe as the musician leads the group to platform nine. Muted light pours through the atrium, forming patterns of light and shadows on the shiny floor as you watch the wheels of luggage sliding across it and the boots and shoes of fellow passengers stomp. Everything feels effortless as you follow the group to the platform where the maroon and cream-hued luxury train awaits. Aboard the Royal Scotsman, you no longer need to think about what to do or where to go, as you are in the safe hands of the trusted crew. Responsibilities fade away the moment your butler leads you to your three-room suite, stowing your luggage just before the train departs. Edwardian inspired, your grand suite has timeless charm with dark wooden panels and teal and dark green tweeds that capture the regal essence of Scottish textiles. Sun filters through the gray skies, offering a pale golden light that streams through the windows as the train sounds its call for departure. A welcome beverage awaits in the sitting room atop a small table that you sip as you curiously explore the suite. A ripple of excitement courses through your body with an electrifying sensation, bringing you to life with the same zest as the carbonated welcome drink. The suite conjures the kind of imaginative play you may have experienced long ago as a small child. You find it hard to believe that this is yours to completely experience, however you see fit. The ambiance of the suite reflects a strong sense of Scottish traditions offering hues and patterns worn for centuries. Inspired by the deep greens of glens and lush pastures, even at first glance, the train reflects Scottish pride and reveals itself to be the most luxurious and prestigious train you have ever been on. The train departs the station and passes by Princess Street Gardens. 
lively with willow trees and Kelly green manicured lawns. The park was created in marshlands, where Norlock was drained completely. For centuries going back to the Middle Ages, the lake was considered to be a place where witch ducking would allegedly reveal if someone was practicing witchcraft. But now the park is a gathering place for eager children who rally at the sight of a train like the Royal Scotsman, waving fervently as the conductor blows the train horn in response. You peer out at the gardens, the vibrant persimmon-hued blossoms appear all the more colorful against the backdrop of gray skies. The park, much like the hotel, is a convergence spot for old and new worlds. The backdrop of royal dwellings and gothic spires soon fade in the distance as the train travels to more remote landscapes of mirror locks and velvety green knolls. You explore the bedroom, taking in the luxurious thick duvet and fluffy pillows cloaked in the finest crisp linens. Antique style candle sconces are perched on the luxe wooden walls. Decorative elements in carved pewter display elegance and power. Understated yet eye-capturing at the same time. The suite boasts Pictish stones and other details that conjure thoughts of a riverbed. Soon the train will pass through the kingdom of Fife, where these same stones may be revealed in historic buildings and villages. You enter the ensuite soothed by the green and brown shades, the slate floors, and the wood accents that conjure the energy of a medieval forest. You look at yourself in the mirror, recognizing a glint in your eyes, the kind of sparkle that comes when your heart is alight and your mind is curious and engaged. You turn on the faucet and freshen up with the cool water, feeling it cascade down your cheeks and soothe your eyes as the train gently rocks back and forth. This moment brings a reset, inspiring you to explore the observation car as the train weaves its way between the lowlands and highlands. Other guests are mingling in the observation car. Settled in tweed plaid armchairs and atop green velvet sofas as they enjoy tea, scones, cucumber sandwiches, and chocolate cake. Some quietly read magazines and newspapers, while others introduce themselves with brief cordial exchanges about what brought them on this magical journey. You settle in an armchair to peer out onto the rural views, watching sheep grazing throughout the rolling landscape. You sip your tea as the train ascends more wild and rugged terrain, now cast in twilight shades, winding along the curving rails through the mystical Glen Fallock. The storied region offers waterfalls and twisting trails where one may rediscover themselves along the way. 
Come tomorrow, the tour host will gather the group to enjoy a spontaneous picnic on plaid wool blankets sprawled along the beaches of one of the many locks along the way. But now, the observation room clears as guests return to their staterooms to prepare for a formal dinner. You are the last to leave, lingering in the warm energy and timeless atmosphere of the room fashioned to feel like a Scottish country home. There are times like this that you enjoy moments of solitude as you deeply inhale and absorb the uniqueness of this experience uninterrupted. You tuck it away in the recesses of your mind as a pleasant thought to conjure at will when life demands an escape. Back in your suite, you enjoy a hot shower with homemade ole soaps that leave a rich lather. The water pressure is remarkably strong, pulsating between your shoulder blades and ridding your muscles of any weariness that comes with travel. Having passed only a few hours since boarding, already it feels as if you've lived through different chapters in a book. Time becomes elusive. And rather than fight this feeling, you embrace the fluidity of it all. You dry yourself in one of the fluffiest, freshest towels to have ever graced your skin. Amid all the luxuries of this passage, the simplest sensory pleasures are what you treasure most. They allow you to slow down and connect with yourself in a way that the modern world and its demands often challenge. But now it's easy to luxuriate and appreciate every detail and how they elevate your experience aboard the train. You dress in an outfit purchased specifically for this affair. It filled you with pure happiness in anticipation of your journey. And forever after, it will conjure loving memories of the evening about to unfold. Once dressed, you feel confident and comfortable this outfit is the perfect expression of who you are and who you want to be. You make your way through the train cars, trailing behind other guests. Some men wear traditional Scottish kilts with crisp white shirts, bow ties, and fitted black jackets adorned with gold buttons. The women dress in elegant gowns, in jewel tones and gold. The energy has once again changed on the train, led by a wave of sophistication and celebration. You enter the dining car, an original 1945 carriage that exudes refinement with mahogany panels, plush upholstered armchairs, and ivory linen tablecloths draped over antique dining tables. Fine china, crystal glasses, and polished silver 
offer the promise of a memorable meal that showcases the local dishes featuring foraged mushrooms and the freshest of local ingredients from the sea. Bouquets of local heather, thistle, and bluebells are arranged in crystal vases on each table. You locate your seat indicated by an ivory card etched with your name in gold foil and settle into the soft, supportive chair. Instrumental music plays, accompanying the persistent sound of the train in motion as the ascent continues. Clouds have cleared to reveal rich sapphire blue skies and glittering stars as a moon rises over the sprawling landscape. Dinner service begins. From canapes to special pairings, the feast unfolds with an introduction to the chef who is excited to share his heritage and culinary knowledge. Animated conversations become softer in the honeyed light of flickering candles, and the murmurs of fellow travelers make you feel part of something special. One by one, you try each course, satiated and content. And when dinner service comes to a close, you follow your new acquaintances and soon to be friends to enjoy some evening entertainment back in the observation room. Live music and chants adding an air of romance to the evening. Fresh air circulates through cracked windows, bringing with it the nocturnal smells of Scotland. You ride on the waves of sound, rocking gently in the train car, as if floating through a dream. You imagine how peaceful the world would be if souls from all backgrounds could be brought together in wondrous communal experiences that a train journey like this naturally fosters. As the music plays on, your mind wanders through the mental images captured on this track so far. The gothic castles and churches, the roaming sheep and placid walks, the plaid wool textiles that never let you forget the rich colors of the highlands. Outside, a veil of mist rises from the earth as gray clouds roll in, blocking the stars and moon. The gossamer clouds conceal the peaks of mountain silhouettes, making it seem as if they simply cease to exist mid-air. As the festivities continue deep into the night, you rise to visit the spa car where you have made an appointment for an evening massage. You make your way to the spa carriage, passing by passengers, imbibing and laughing and singing. You find solace and rejuvenation in the spa car 
a luxurious haven in motion. Stepping into the sanctuary, you're immediately enveloped in an atmosphere of opulence and tranquility. The spa car's interior exhibits neutral tones with plush furnishings and subdued lighting, creating an ambiance of understated luxury. Yet classic Scottish motifs and modern comfort blend seamlessly, offering the ideal space for relaxation. Tranquil images capturing the soft muted colors of the highland landscape at night contribute to the serenity setting the stage for the indulgent experience you deserve. Upon entering the spa car, a profound sense of being catered to and cared for takes hold. Attendants dressed in simple attire reflect an air of elegance they welcome you with warm smiles and a genuine commitment to ensuring you enjoy this transformative spa experience. Quietly led to a changing room, you remove your evening attire with a sense of relief. For as much fun as it was to feel glamorous, it feels even more luxurious to wrap yourself in a towel and plush robe. The air carries a subtle scent, a blend of botanical oils that evoke the very essence of the Scottish Highlands. Your attendant leads you to a massage table cast in the glow of candlelight Spa piano music plays subtly in the background, softly buried beneath the sounds of the train in motion that remain at the forefront. The massage experience is nothing short of magical and truly unique. The gentle rocking motion of the train complements the skilled hands of the spa attendant, who intuitively finds places of tension and holding in your muscles. Knots are released, and your skin becomes flush as blood circulates in new areas creating a feeling of release and warmth. As the night train glides through the highlands, the gentle rhythmic vibrations of the train car synchronize with the expert maneuvers of the attendant's strong hands. The botanical oils used during the massage are a sensory celebration of the Scottish landscape. With notes of heather, juniper, and pine, the oils transport you to the heart of a forest. Your mind wanders to images of moonlit streams and waterfalls. In a state of deep relaxation, your mind shuffles through these images of nature. Your mind shuffles through these images of nature before arriving at an aerial cinematic view of 
the Royal Scotsman, weaving its way through the nocturnal landscape. As you slip into the sweet stillness of your mind, for a moment you observe yourself within the train car, completely peaceful as the train forges on. You turn onto your back and your eyes flutter open to briefly peer out the window at the ever-changing scenery. You close your eyes once more as the attendant's hands find your temples and scalp and then travel down your jaw, relieving you of tension. You inhale deeply and then exhale as your shoulders and neck soften. The attendant ends with a scalp massage, their thumbs circling your third eye and then going around your eye sockets gently, preparing you for a night of healing dreams. The attendant leaves the room, giving you time to reacclimate to this new relaxed state of being. You put on the robe and a pair of terry cloth slippers and are informed your butler has returned your belongings to your suite. You thank the spa staff and wander three train cars to your room. Sleep will come easily, that you know. You prepare for bed, but not before indulging in decadent treats left during turndown service. Your familiar pre-bedtime routine feels elevated and luxurious as you brush your teeth and cleanse yourself of the day. You slip into silky pajamas, monogrammed with your initials, and of the same luxurious design once worn by passengers during the golden age of travel. You return to the bedroom and sink into the plush mattress tucked beneath the heavy duvet and crisp sheets. The room is the perfect temperature for sleep. You relish the gentle rocking. The vibrations are like a solve. And you appreciate the balances of softness and weightiness plushness and quality. As you appreciate all the comforts of the suite and the train in motion, you recognize how every detail was selected by souls who truly care about your experience and your fellow travelers. Led by the rhythmic sounds of the Royal Scotsman, you begin to drift into a dreamscape where soaring cliffs embrace mystical locks. Ancient whispers echo through glens and waterfalls cascade in pine forests. This dreamscape 
reflects the ethereal beauty of your journey. A continuation of the enchanting experience that began the moment you first imagined taking this trip. Your transition to sleep is a gradual descent like a feather drifting from the peak of a highland cliff slowly making its way down, down to a soft landing on a lush green bed of moss. You revel in slowly slipping away, full of gratitude for the beauty of the Scottish Highlands that serve as a testament to the supreme majesty of nature and its abundance in this world. Feel free to succumb to slumber or venture onward with another train adventure. Trans-Siberian Train the Trans-Siberian Railway, like many railways that cut through landscapes of mountains and rugged terrains, was no easy feat to create. Over 25 years, humans endeavored to connect the expanse of Russia from the city of Moscow to the far east. The longest railway in the world came into being on the cusp of the golden age of train travel. You find yourself aboard the luxury train car, somewhere in time where peace is restored and the glory of the land may be explored with an open heart and mind. You have traveled days beyond the whimsical beauty of architectural wonders of Moscow, like St. Basil's Cathedral and its colorfully painted domes and towers reminiscent of ribbon candy. At this juncture, the quietude of the frozen Russian landscape is never ending. Flurries fall from the sparse clouds, backlit by the metallic orange light of the sun as it slips away beyond the mountains. Ribbons of magenta and sherbet orange color the sky as the glowing orb of the sun lowers. The train weaves around the snow-dusted, rocky shoreline of Lake Baikal, known as the Sacred Sea by the locals. The turquoise lake contains 20% of the planet's fresh water. It remains frozen for five months of the year. Glassy turquoise and sapphire ice Take on warm pink and orange hues from the sunset skies. Along the edges of the frozen lake, jagged pieces of ice rise up against the shore like pieces of pastel rock candy. Even in the bleak winter months, vibrant colors explode in the frigid setting. The snow-capped mountains reflect the soft tones of cotton candy skies, as if coated in strawberry pink icing. You enter the dining car, 
to enjoy a sunset dinner featuring Russian delicacies. Murmurs and conversations carry throughout the room. With different dialects and languages coming together with varying rhythms and melodies. Animated chatter complements the persistent sounds of a train in motion. While you cannot make out much of the conversations, you understand that most guests enthusiastically discuss the possibility of seeing the northern lights should the skies remain clear. Thick burgundy linens and ivory napkins in gold rings set the small tables that accommodate no more than four guests per setting. Cabernet-hued curtains with braided gold trim drape around each picturesque window. Vases of snow-white roses sit next to crystal lamps in the center of each table. Patrons dress in their finest clothes to enjoy the sunset dinner. You admire the diversity of wardrobe crafted from silk, linen, cotton, and velvet. Some of the men wear velvet smoking jackets, long forgotten staples meant to be comfortable and classy at the same time, with belts cinched around their waists. Your outfit makes you feel comfortable and confident. Perhaps these are clothes you save for special events. Or maybe you dress in something bolder than you would normally be wearing. Feeling freer to express yourself in a foreign land. A host leads you to a window seat overlooking the frozen lake and mountain range that gleams in fading light. As twilight approaches, the lake depicts varying shades of blue, silvery gray and aquamarine. Superficial cracks score the surface of the frozen freshwater in zigzags, yet the ice remains sturdy and solid enough for locals to drive across it. A pack of six Siberian huskies leads a dog sled with a man and his son across the icy blue lake. The dog's faces reveal pure elation as they are so happy to be outside and running with a pack and a duty as their ancestors once did. The train travels through another one of dozens of tunnels in this region, for it was easier to design the railway through mountain passes than it was to go over them. The darkness in the tunnel brings a sense of mystery to the dining car. The train emerges into the darker hues of twilight as your meal is delivered. The savory notes of borscht, chicken Kiev, stroganoff, and piroshki fill the train car. The clinking of crystal glasses and the soft ringing of silverware create a soothing ambient sound. 
Although you travel alone, you feel connected to everyone aboard this vessel, experiencing the best of the Trans-Siberian Railway. You enjoy the steaming Russian delicacies that are hearty and filling and meet your culinary needs. They satiate you and bring on a contented sigh as you wipe the corners of your lips with a linen napkin. Every part of your body feels nourished and content, comfortable in the dry, warm air of the train car as it snakes through the frigid landscape. The lulling motion of the train as it slows down your heart brings you to a state of calm. There is nothing for you to do but enjoy each moment in the capable hands of the conductor and crew. A deep sense of trust permeates the air with all the passengers and you let down your guard and feel incredibly nurtured and tended to by the staff. You rise to return to your sleeper car, longing to snuggle in an armchair and enjoy a pot of tea you had sent to your room. You meet the kind eyes of fellow passengers who wish you a good night as if you are an old friend. The faces have become familiar over the days of travel and you feel part of a community. You exit the dining car. When you walk between cars, a sharp draft delivers the fresh mountain air. It smells clean and invigorating, and the chill makes you appreciate the warm train more than you already did. The train accelerates and rocks back and forth as it curves around a bend. Your hands glide across the walls to steady yourself and find your balance. You approach your room and enter to find a silver tray of tea and fine china next to your journal and a fountain pen on a small window side table. Soothing blues dominate the color scheme in the car. Found in the velvet upholstered chair, the gold and sapphire carpet, the drapes, and the lounger that transforms into a bed. You change out of your clothes and into luxurious pajamas monogrammed with your name. They make you feel as classy and regal as the sleeper car, traveling through the night in style and luxury. The room is cozy and the perfect temperature. You settle into the armchair and pour a cup of tea out of the silver teapot. The Russian caravan tea is a blend of oolong, kimon, 
and Lop Song Sushan. The special blend was once transported by camel caravans from China. Long before the railway made transport easier. During these long voyages, the tea leaves took on the smoke of many campfires that helped their safe passage across the Mongolian steppes to Russia. You adjust the tea to your preferences, and the hint of smoke on your palate makes you think of cozy wood fires on snowy nights. You peer out the window as the train passes through a rural village. Golden firelight pours out of cabin windows and reflects on the snow. The only light to be seen for many miles. You sip your tea and savor the sweet and smoky elixir as it travels down your throat. You understand in this moment how transformative a simple pleasure can be. When you are fully present to every sensation and fragrant note, you pick up the fountain pen and your journal and open to a clean ivory page. The paper is thick and luxurious and the edges are deckled as if handmade. The paper absorbs the ink as you write the date in the top right corner and detail your day. Words flow from your fingers in your handwritten script unique to you. In a state of well-being and deep relaxation, you find it easy to focus on all the simple beauty in the world. Gratitude flows through you and out the pen as it carefully drifts across the paper with your steady hand. The train rocks back and forth. Yet your hand remains confident as you detail the wonders you experience. Being so far from home makes you feel sentimental. Even as you are swept away by the romantic beauty of the world, that unfolds outside the train windows. Like so many travelers before you, you are inspired by the majesty of traveling through the pristine wintry landscape on this luxury train. You finish writing Having emptied out all your thoughts unto the page, your mind is quiet and still. You are an observer of all that unfolds. You stand and prepare the bed with crisp white sheets and a plush blanket. You turn out the lamp 
and walk to the window to draw the drapes closed. As you do, you peer outside to see the northern lights. Wavy bands of vibrant green and purple swirl above the snowy mountain peaks. The verdant shades vary from deep evergreen to vibrant neon green and every hue in between. The gradient of rich purple blends into royal blue. Van Gogh believed the night was often more richly colored than the day. As this magical night unfolds, this truth is revealed as the swirls of the northern lights saturate the velvety black sky. You rest your forehead against the cool glass of the window as the vibrations of the train bring deep peace. You get lost in the beauty of the northern lights. You trace the swirls on the glass with your finger. And then the lights disappear as quickly as they appear, vanishing into the darkness. You are just about to close the curtains when you see a gray wolf. You peer into her eyes that glitter like gold topaz for no more than a second. The animal lifts her head and howls. Her nocturnal song can be heard inside the train. It fades away as the train speeds by. But her howl is a reminder that even in a modern luxurious vessel, nature is all around. For a moment, you imagine what it would be like to run free with the wolves. But as a wave of tiredness creeps over you, you realize such experiences may be best enjoyed in your dreams. You draw the curtains closed a spontaneous and unexpected sigh escapes your lips. You are deeply relaxed and free to express your tiredness. Another sigh comes with ease and grace. The soporific sounds of the train tracks lull you into a sleepy state. You suddenly long to lie down, feeling a heaviness take over. You pull back the freshly laundered blanket and sheet 
and climb atop the firm, supportive mattress. You inhale slowly through your nose and the air whistles faintly in your nasal cavity like the whistling wind outside the train. Your head sinks into the pillows and your eyes close. You cannot recall the last time you felt so at peace, so ready for sleep. In this far off snowy land, Speeding through the night on the winding tracks. You waltz between the world of your waking life, your imaginative life, and sleep. Waves of gratitude tiredness, peace, and contentment wash over you again and again as the train car rocks you back and forth. You end this day with the thought you have soaked in all the wondrous beauty you could and it makes you feel full and appreciative. The soft vibrations of the train massage your muscles and nerves. They respond like warm candle wax, melting and letting go. You surrender to the comforts of the night. All the imagery of the day floats through your mind. Images of gliding across a frozen lake, of floating across a star-filled sky, of traveling and enjoying each moment, not concerned about the destination. of being tended to and trusting others to keep you safe. You appreciate yourself for taking this journey and for tuning in to every detail and sensation and you imagine a life where such attention to detail is a daily practice. Give in to sleep or join the unfolding adventure in the next sleepy story. The Night Train. A wise woman once said, you may miss the train many times, but if there is somewhere you are meant to be, another train will find you when the timing is right. You will never miss what is yours to have, and you will always get to where you need to be, for there are many routes that lead to your final destination. 
timing is an important factor in trains. But in the bucolic fields of a sleepy town, the night train always arrives just on time. There is no written schedule or predictability for this mystical train. It mysteriously comes when summoned by will, by longing, and by necessity. The souls who return from fantastic journeys on the night train speak lovingly about how it appeared when they were most in need of hope. The midnight air is tepid and the late spring breeze brushes against your skin like a soft feather. Rolling emerald hills dappled with pink, white, and lavender wildflowers glimmer in the light of a full moon. A silhouette of purple-black mountains creates a jagged line across the starry indigo sky you walk beside old abandoned train tracks where tall grass and daisies sprout up between the wooden railway sleepers. A coyote sings out and his song echoes through the valley of chirping crickets. Wispy pewter-hued clouds lazily drift through the sky. Your boots kick away loose shale that takes on the iridescent hue of oil in the bright moon glow. The air smells of dewy grass and sweet, wet earth. Silver mist rolls in over the tracks like gossamer and brings a timeless sensation that others who have taken this path have felt as well. The ground begins to vibrate and the tracks begin to rattle. A train whistle cries out and conjures the nostalgic feelings of a song once played on a fuzzy radio station. The sound resonates like a beckoning to come home. To the home that makes you feel secure and free to let down your guard. Free to relax and be every expression of your incredible self. The air becomes cooler as the train approaches and a gust of wind comes down the tracks. You step away from the tracks and your feet fall onto the damp earth. Tall blades of grass rustle against your pant legs and you feel remarkably alive and well. Every sensation feels amplified and the beauty of the moment is as dramatic as a film going from black and white to technicolor. The headlight of the train shines in the direction of new discoveries. The light pours over your face and you raise a hand to shade your eyes. The light seems otherworldly and the train begins to slow as the first cars pass you by. You hear your name faintly called over the sound of the train's engine and rustling breeze. A conductor stands in the back of the caboose and waves for you to board. You walk towards the tracks, hesitant at first, but intrigue gives you a burst of speed 
and you jog towards the conductor's extended hand. He reaches down to hoist you up with a surprising amount of strength. For a moment, you feel like a small child. As you land inside the freight car, the car is completely empty, but for a thin coating of sawdust and the wooden planks of the floor. You wipe the flaxen grains off your legs and take note of the sweet woodsy smell that lingers in the air. The conductor's eyes sparkle with kindness and assurance as you stand tall. Welcome, my friend. My name is Alden. I was hoping you would join me on this pleasant night. He looks familiar, but you cannot place his face. Perhaps he has appeared in a dream before, or as someone you crossed paths with at some point in your life, like strangers in the night. You have sudden pops of memories, flashes that reveal you may have unknowingly encountered each other many times before. It's as though he reads your mind when he says, No need to reflect on the past. It will only interfere with the beauty of this moment. Alden leads you to the edge of the open door and grabs a steel handle near the frame. You follow by grabbing the handle on the other side as Alden leans out into the night. The wind sweeps his hair around the bill of his conductor's hat and causes his navy wool uniform to ripple. Give it a try, he says with a smile. You lean out into the beautiful night Feel as if you are surfing on the wind. You feel your vitality. The train speeds forward and you look in the direction of what's to come. When you turn towards what was left behind, the beauty of the experience dims. You feel held back And so like Alden, you turn your body towards the front of the train and relish the wind. You are so very much in tune with the moment. Your mouth opens in a big smile and you start to laugh at how good it feels. You feel free. You feel limitless. Alden comes back inside the train car, and you follow his lead. Just because there's room for baggage doesn't mean we have to carry it all. It's nice to have space. If there's anything from your past that you want to release, now is a good time. You pause and look around the empty car. Notice how wonderful it feels to claim space in the vacant, open railway car. A cross breeze circulates freely through open doors on each side of the train. You imagine what it would feel like to be this open and free of clutter. Your breath becomes deeper and your chest expands as you think of this. Alden looks at you as a loving guardian who does not judge. You lean out of the freight car to feel the cool night air on your face. 
Your scalp tingles from the massage of the wind. You hear the coyotes cry over the chugging of the train and spontaneously open your mouth and begin to cry out as well. The sound that comes out of your mouth is liberating. Your voice could move mountains and you know it. You feel your inner strength and power. And while you call out confidently and bravely into the night, you smile. The muscles around your face feel splendor as it reveals pure bliss. Your eyes glitter like the endless stars that spread like a comforting blanket of peace as far as you can see. You take in a deep breath and one last time you cry out in full voice, surrendering to the waves of emotions that flow through you past disappointments, grief, and fears flow out of you in this empowering release. You let go of old wounds, keeping only the impressions that made you evolve into a wiser, more compassionate person. These impressions are like the faint fossils of seashells embedded in golden limestone. And with just the hint of them remaining, like a distant memory, you become more clear. You are aligned with your intuition and the deep understanding that you know what is best for you. The wind blows against your face and your heart is directed towards the sky. The pearly white moonlight lands on your chest and heart center. And you feel an expansion inside making room for all that is good and healing, making the space for hope and for new things to come. You step fully back into the train car, enlivened by a sense of renewal. You feel lighter than you have felt in a very long time. Alden smiles at you proudly and then wistfully stares out at the passing cornfields tinted blue by the night. Trains keep moving forward. Even as the landscape changes, passengers come and go and there are unexpected stops along the way. But the pursuit continues there's always another destination ahead. Alden walks towards a heavy metal door and you follow him through the gangway connection. You rock back and forth as you balance carefully, led by a curiosity about the next car. The train coupler softly chirps you feel the force of the train in motion and it kindles a connection to your inner drive and fortitude. Alden opens the door into a dining car that instantly evokes delightful sensations. The decor is classy and timeless 
and upon closer inspection, you recognize symbols and items that represent all the things you are grateful for in your present life. When you focus on the abundance of these simple pleasures, you find magic in the mundane. Your attention shifts away from the murky and towards fulfillment. The warm, dry air offers a potpourri of your favorite smells from comfort foods to soothing aromas found in nature to scents that set off memory capsules of happy moments in your life. On their own, each simple pleasure elevates your mood. But when presented in multitudes in this opulent setting, you feel a sense of euphoria. An elegant chrome bar hosts an array of silver-framed photos of the things you cherish in your current life. Beloved landscapes, your favorite people and images enjoying your favorite activities. You pick up each frame and reflect on the snapshots captured from your mind. And as you look at each photo, pathways in your brain light up like the golden wires of an Edison light bulb that spreads feelings of joy. Music plays in the dining car a playlist that elevates your mood and captures the essence of who you are. A server enters the car and sets a covered silver tray on a lush burgundy and gold tablecloth draped over a window side setting. Alden goes behind the bar to prepare a bubbly elixir made from vibrantly hued liquids that he mixes from the bottles. You note that the bottles are labeled by ideas and themes rather than conventional flavors. Alden mixes a soft pink liquid labeled gratitude with a soothing seaside blue liquid labeled serenity and the third bottle of sunshine yellow liquid labeled hope. He pours them into a champagne cool glass made of crystal. The bubbling drink swirls and the colors inspire thoughts of a turquoise sea and pink sand beach awash in the golden yellow shimmering sunlight. Alden leads you to the dining table, balancing a silvery antique tray with a colorful elixir above his shoulder. You sit down in the glow of flickering tea light candles in crystal tulip shaped holders. Burgundy silk lampshades with soft black fringe decorate the wall sconces scattered on the mahogany walls. The dining car is warm, opulent, and regal. Alden sits down the effervescent, curious drink before you and says, People often confuse hope to be for future projections. 
but hope is for the present. The only moment we have is now. And by being hopeful in the now, we set the tone for what will come. Hope is deeper than optimism. It is a function of survival that helps us rise above it to thrive. Enjoy your meal, my friend. He removes the silver cover from the supper tray and leaves you to enjoy a late night supper as the train weaves through the mountains and the full moon peaks in the sky. You sip the colorful drink and as it flows down your throat, your body instantly becomes calm. Your heart feels warm, full of dreamy hope in its purest form. The hope of the innocent. The hope of those who have struggled and rediscovered it at unexpected times. The final notes on your palate cause your mouth to water with a perfect balance of sweet and bitter. They flood you with sensations of gratitude. You recognize how long the list would be if you were to make mention the grand details of everything in your present moment. There is so much beauty to take in. The handcrafted designs of the chairs and the bar. The rich gold and black rug that feels plush beneath your tired feet. The way the chair hugs your back. The attention to detail in every photo on the bar every musical note in each song, the aromas of the dining car, and the meal before you inspire gratitude. Your favorite dishes and flavors are presented on the tray, and you savor each bite with an appreciation all the care put into this experience just for you. You lean back into the velvet chair and peer out at the starry sky in this world within a world. You are grateful for your gratitude. Your eyes become heavy as the train continues to rock you gently, lulling you into a peaceful state. Alden returns to the dining car, dressed in a modern uniform. The fabric has a classy blue sheen to it, unlike the navy wool of his previous attire. The buttons are pearly white. Are you ready for the sleeping car, my friend? You are more than ready. And slowly rise to follow him through the gangway connector to the front of the train. You feel as if you are floating through a waking dream. He leads you down a narrow hallway a sapphire silk wallpaper that complements his uniform. Like an inquisitive child, you cannot resist running your fingers across the lush walls. The train car smells of fresh mountain air pumped in from the outdoors. 
It is cool and the perfect temperature for sleep. Alden opens shiny black walnut doors that lead into a modern suite that is clean and decorated in your favorite colors. The interior design is arranged to your personal preferences exactly the way you would want it to be if you had no limitations. Alden leaves you with one more bit of wisdom before he disappears for the night. The future is yours to imagine, and it begins now. As you fall asleep and dream away, you have the power to dream away to live out your greatest desires. Sweet dreams, my friend. The door closes behind him, and you feel safe and at home. You walk towards a vanity with a magical looking glass. You see your present self with sparkling eyes a glowing complexion, and a radiant aura. The mirror becomes like a movie screen, and images play out like double exposures. You see yourself at the moment, layered over the future you desire. You are in good health, succeeding at the things you most enjoy, surrounded by love, overflowing with gratitude, and stronger from all the lessons that have come your way. You recognize this version of yourself version of you to come. And that version is within reach. You can feel it. Like the last jagged piece of a puzzle, perfectly fitting into the remaining open spot. You see the bigger picture and all the stops along the way make sense. You change into the softest cotton pajamas you have ever worn. They are light and airy on your skin. You walk towards the sleeping quarters to a queen-sized plush bed with a satin upholstered headboard. You peel back the heavy cotton comforter and glide across the sateen sheets. Your head sinks into the downy pillows that contour perfectly around your neck. With a whiff of the freshly laundered bedding. Your mind wanders to thoughts of rolling meadows of wildflowers in spring. Cast in the moonlight, you look out the bedside picture window as the train continues onward into the night. The majestic stars and wisps of swirling clouds remind you of Van Gogh's starry night, and it is no wonder he believed the night is more alive and richly colored than the day. The train rocks you softly back and forth. 
the vibrations soothe you and your muscles relax as you sink deeper into the bed. You close your eyes and reflect on the power you have as you cross over the bridge to your sleeping life. Full of gratitude, serenity, and hope. For the future is yours. And you are the architect of the dreams to come. And the day to follow. Each breath. Every beat of your heart is another opportunity to step closer and closer to the life you imagine and all the healed past selves and your present self and all the selves you will become exist in this sleeping car in harmony as you align with your highest self and feel at peace. The soundtrack of the train lulls you deeper and deeper down until you can no longer resist the lore of sleep. And you may let go of my voice or follow along for another train journey. Rainy night train journey. You visualize a long dark tunnel that is a portal to another place and time. You feel yourself floating down, down, down through this mystical blue-black space like Alice falling down the rabbit hole to Wonderland. You continue to drift until you hear the click of your heels as they land on the marble steps of Grand Central Station. It is the autumn of 1938, just months after the debut of the new 20th Century Limited, a redesigned streamliner train used for an overnight hop between New York and Chicago. The air smells of urban life, of ladies' perfume and popcorn and baked goods and shoe polish. It is the city's potpourri found on 42nd Street, the heart of the melting pot of Manhattan. In terms of platforms, the Beaux Arts Depot is the largest train station in the world. You pause on the stairs, taking in the grandeur of the station the station gleams in gilded light that pours through the windows around the domed ceiling. This light matches the warm lights of opulent chandeliers that hang throughout the atrium. The celestial mural on the ceiling is a faded blue and you look to Orion strong and courageously drawn in the heavenly sky. You watch people come and go, commuters and international travelers dressed in their finest suits and tailored dresses. Women wear jewel-toned velvet hats over their perfectly coiffed hairstyles and the men are in top hats that match their wool trench coats. 
young boys in newsboy caps and overalls are scattered about the station, selling the late afternoon editions of the Times. You walk through the atrium and see the iconic four-faced clock, so famous it inspired the saying, meet me at the clock. In this pre-digital age, the charm of arranged meeting places warms your heart. How fulfilling it is to step back in time. A boyish sailor and pretty young woman in a garnet wool coat run towards each other and passionately embrace one another beneath the clock. 20 minutes to five, and your companion for this journey is due to meet you. You watch the constant incoming tide of commuters arriving in diverse waves of people from all walks of life. You catch a reflection in the bronze framed glass of a closed teller window. You are dressed in a perfectly tailored overcoat and your best garments to be worn at dinner. A hat sits on your neatly styled hair and the essence of you is still present regardless of the fashion of the time. And then something in the air changes and your body begins to tingle you feel their presence with a deep knowing before even seeing them. Your connection to this person is so strong that you can travel throughout time and still feel when they are near. You turn towards the clock and your companion on this journey is standing circling slowly and looking to spot you in the crowd. And then you catch one another's gaze. You both pause in awe that you have reconnected in this busy, magical place. This companion could be someone you have not seen in a long time or who has passed who you have a romantic connection with, or perhaps it is a relative or dear friend. Or maybe it is someone imagined who you long to meet. This choice is yours on this venture, and now it has become a reality. You walk towards them clutching the train tickets for the both of you in one gloved hand and your luggage in the other. Both of your faces explode in toothy smiles with joy so infectious that even the most hurried commuters stop to observe and grin. You hug one another tightly and the golden light swirls around you in what feels like a destined moment. An amplified voice announces the boarding of train 25 to Chicago and you and your companion head towards the track. When you arrive, red cap attendants roll out a crimson carpet the center banner in bold art deco lettering that reads 20th Century Limited. A conductor checks your tickets and you are led by a Pullman porter to your sleeping car who carries both of your luggage. You feel your feet sink into the plush red carpet that is the length of a football field 
and runs from the observation car to the engine. 16 hours of decadence and relaxation await you on a train that will take the water level route along the Hudson River and the shores of Lake Erie. There is a buzz of attention up ahead where one of the most famous movie stars of the time is waving and smiling at the Pullman employees and adoring travelers who stop and wave. Yet your attention is on your dear companion who at this moment provides you with the same adoring rush that fans feel for the famous star. There's nowhere else you would rather be right now than walking down the red carpet next to the gleaming silver streamliner. The porter leads you up the recently polished stairs, his feet clanking on each step and your luggage shuffling through the narrow door. You feel the familiar excitement that comes at the beginning of a trip, not knowing how things will play out. But the moment carries the certainty that this will be an adventure that leaves an indelible mark on the timeline of your life. You extend your arm and invite your companion to board first and then follow behind. You walk down a narrow corridor to your suite and the porter opens the door into a charming room. With two perfectly made beds and armchairs in warm hues, you are made to feel at home. The curtains are drawn, incarnations and a bottle of perfume that are token gifts on the luxury liner are arranged on a bed table. The porter leaves offering to be at your service should any needs arise. You and your companion wash up and unpack your bare essentials before the train leaves the station. You are refreshed and properly groomed for a fine dining experience. Together you leave the room to explore the bar car. As you walk through the long narrow passageway, occasionally overhearing the joyous laughter and excited conversation from fellow passengers exploring their suites. You arrive at the cozy bar car where a handful of passengers have gathered and socialized. You sit by the window on a settee with your companion. When a waiter asks what suits your fancy, you ask for something sweet and soothing the train begins to leave the station and a horn blows. Loved ones of departing passengers stand on the platform and wave handkerchiefs and blow kisses as they say goodbye to the night train. Through the darkness of the tunnels, right away the rocking motion and gentle rhythmic sounds of the train begin to reset the mood. The waiter brings you and your companion an imported English tea that has the right amount of sweet and perfectly warm temperature. You slowly sip the tea and observe the other travelers in the car, some speaking languages you do not understand and yet everyone is joined together in an experience where words do not matter. Collectively in motion, you are joined by the contagious sense of joy and
and anticipation of what is to come. Before long, the train has escaped the urban landscape and runs parallel to the Hudson River. The sun begins its descent across the river, dipping beyond the horizon and casting the water in honeyed light. Riding past the silvery gray mountain walls of Breakneck Ridge, you sink into the chair and take in the views from the panoramic windows. It is the peak season for autumn leaves, and you feel as if you are traveling through an oil painting dappled with vibrant tones of marigold and fiery orange and magenta and chartreuse from the changing leaves. The vista is breathtaking. The rich clusters of colorful leaves reflect on the rippling waves of the Hudson. While brisk outside, you are warm inside the train You enjoy the sensation of tea cascading down your throat and the softness of the plush seat that forms around your body. You and your companion catch up in a way that is always easy, always as if no time has passed. You can just pick up where you left off which is made all the more fascinating in the fluidity of time and this experience that has brought you back to 1938. Darkness sets in and storm clouds overtake the twilight sky. You watch the purple gray underbellies of the ominous clouds and have the same excitement about the rain as a school child excited about an imminent snowstorm and possible snow day. There's something romantic and cozy about traveling through the night on the 20th Century Limited. You and your companion rise to head towards the Century Club for dinner. The Art Deco room has glass walls that separate diners and shiny chrome accents around the windows and doors. Female patrons are cloaked in opulent jewels and silk dresses, while the men are in three-piece suits with perfectly arranged bow ties. You feel taller and more confident in this era and walk with a sense of purpose, inspired by your attire and the strong desires of others to strive for the best. There is a kindred spirit of those traveling on the night train. The brevity of life is meant for celebration and joy and moments shared with those you love most. You and your companion are seated by the window again, eye level with the Hudson River, and beneath the magnanimous plum gray mountainous peaks, speckled with jewel-toned trees. At times the river flows so closely, it feels as though you are floating up it on a boat. The first drops of rain begin to splatter against the window when a waiter arrives with the menu. You take in a deep breath and inhale the aroma of rich, savory meals and baked apples and the fresh floral centerpiece on your table. Your hands rest on the cream linen tablecloth and the waiter places a cloth napkin on your lap. 
the silver play settings are cool to the touch and heavy in your hand. You run your finger over the engraving NYC and take in every detail of the warm glow of the room, wishing to encapsulate this entire experience in the deep files of your mental Rolodex. It's a great reminder that life is rich and fun and full of adventure. Your meal arrives and you and your companion ask questions of one another that are deep and meaningful. Being in a new place and time invites curiosity with the freedom to have an open heart and a candid exchange for the conversation to flow like the melody of a song. Music plays from a Victrola with a crackling analog sound adding extra warmth to the popular jazz songs that play on. Time feels different. Hours flowing like rivers of amber honey and moments are richly enhanced by twinkling eyes and relaxed smiles. By the clinking of glasses and celebratory toasts and by the continued sound of the train chugging towards a new destination. Feeling full and content, you leave the Century Club and while you walk through the cars, you are soothed by the persistent chugging sounds and vibrations of the train. You and your loved one arrive at the observation car. Alone in the quietude of the car, you both watch the rain streak down the windows. Take a seat in the posh leather armchairs. You sink into the buttery soft cushion the car is aglow with soft, warm lights decorated with chrome fixtures and dotted with small, elegant silver tables. A black and white rendition of the New York City skyline covers the wall at the front of the car, where a buffet seat looks over the room. There is a nostalgic charm to the 20th Century Limited that you experience as a traveler from the future. Yet you feel the enthusiasm of those living in this era, their spirits elevated by modern advancements in a new world. Optimism and innovation are strong motivators to come from the future bearing the wisdom that the tender moments of exchange with your companion outshine all the latest in technology. For in the future you have longed for the sense of connection, for being unplugged, being present to this moment. You and your companion sit rocking back and forth with the gentle motion of the train. You inhale the fresh air, hinted by the sweet decay of fall, the clean aroma of rain, and the mineral smell of fresh water from a continuous flow of fresh air pumped into the train car. You ground yourself in what is permanent throughout time and the human experience. Feelings of love, of hope, of longing. Earthly pleasures like seasonal changes and mountain air. Universal questions 
about the purpose of one's life and fulfilling it. And these thoughts that you share with your companion somewhere else in time are simply ideas that float away. Yet the feelings behind them ground you and knowing that you are not alone, these feelings are timeless and they are part of the experience of life. Where you are here to learn, to feel, and to grow each moment of life, you are like the night train passing through space and time. You watch the tracks, slick and glistening in the rain, like horizontal ladders that have become the arteries and veins that link together the souls of vibrant cities. You sit back and find yourself growing tired. With a silent exchange, you look into the eyes of your fellow traveler and they nod. Together you rise to retire in your suite. Once again, you rock gently to and fro as you walk through the train cars to your sleeper car, finding your balance with each step. The train is reminiscent of a great vessel like the Queen Mary if you close your eyes, it feels like you are riding gently on the waves. You open the door into the room and notice the porter has pulled back your bedding and left mints on your pillow. You go to the washroom where your silk pajamas hang on a satin plush hanger. You wash your face with French lavender soap and inhale the soporific fragrance. You change out of your formal attire and feel your waist and body let go and melt into the forgiving, loose bedtime garments. You brush your teeth with toothpaste that is enclosed in a shiny aluminum container and relish the minty tingle in your mouth. You look into the glamorous gold-framed mirror and see yourself beyond the period clothes and hairstyle. For the second time on this journey, you connect with a part of you that is permanent the vibrant essence of your spirit. Your companion readies for bed as well. They return to their bed as you comfortably settle into the crisp cotton sheets of the bed by the window. You draw open the curtains to watch the glittering ebony water beneath a steady patter of rain. The headlights of the train and the golden glow of the train cars provide the only light to be found in the rural darkness. You look to your beloved and thank them for joining you on this journey and for being such a valuable part of your deepest, most cherished memories including this journey on a train. You turn off the lights and your head sinks into the softest, plushest pillow you have ever slept upon. It contours around your neck and your body is massaged by the continuous motion of the train and vibrations on the tracks. 
the rain continues to fall and the 20th century limited like a silver bullet travels through the blue-black darkness beneath a sky of charcoal gray clouds like rain on a tin roof the melodic sounds against the shiny new train help you drift towards sleep and in the dreams to come you may waft through time through space, through memories and hopes, and through the deepest parts of you. The train tracks are the artery that leads to your heart, transporting you through a portal that brings clarity, rest, and a connection to your highest self. For like an internal flame that blazes brightly, no matter what may change through time, a part of you is eternal. You may drift away from my voice, letting the hypnotic sounds of the rain on a night train lull you to sleep. Surrender to the embrace of sleep or accompany me with one final train journey. Train journey through time. You are standing upon a pristine white platform of a train station. The snow-capped mountains cut against the horizon beyond the station and reflect back the silver glow of a brilliant full moon in a crystal clear sky. Stars overhead are vibrant and appear alive as if twinkling and dancing around the evening sky like a disco ball. There is something magical about this station, which is hundreds of years ahead in time. You are dressed in climate controlled attire that is fashionable and suits your preferences, but offers a light feeling as if you are floating through space. For some time, you have anticipated the opportunity to take this journey through time. And at long last, you have a reservation. Beneath the halo of lights that illuminate the station's platform, you find other passengers who are just as eager to take this adventure through time and space as well. You feel goosebumps form on the back of your neck from the winter's chill and from the excitement that tingles from your scalp all the way down your spine. You take in a deep breath and smell the pine and balsam fir from the evergreen trees that surround the town and appear on the mountains in shadowy triangular silhouettes. Before the train pulls in the station, you feel the vibration of the tracks and a breeze that heightens your perception, aware of the train that is coming. The bells of the train's crossing gates sound at the end of the platform where the main road of the town crosses the tracks. But this is merely a symbol of tradition lending itself to the origins of train travel. The road is but a relic, as in this futuristic society, most people travel by air. 
It is but for the sake of nostalgia that train travel exists at all. And this warms your heart like nostalgic paintings of holiday gatherings and the words of Charles Dickens. There is something touching about being connected to the past and even to simpler times that are like a distant dream you long to have again. The train swooshes into the station and its exterior is opalescent in a shade of pearl white looking slick and pure with a light dusting of snow that shimmers like flecks of mica. It travels above the tracks, hovering and using them as a guide through tunnels and scenic sights, through mountain ranges that act as portals to the past. The doors glide towards the roof as they open like modern hatches and you step in as you are greeted by a train employee who is dressed in a perfectly tailored powder blue dress suit cinched at her waist. Her hair is in a perfect French twist as she welcomes passengers in a multitude of languages based on a system that instantly identifies each passenger as they board and conveys their information to her. She greets you by name and with a warmth in her aquamarine eyes that feels timeless it feels as if you have met her before, many times before. And there is a strong sense of trust and feeling of safety she inspires. She invites you to step in and enjoy the bar car where a clear glass bar stands before a mirrored wall. The beverages offered are in brilliant shades of rainbow hues with colors assigned accordingly and how you would like to feel. On the menu, beverages are named things like inner peace and bliss and euphoria and confidence and bravery and may be mixed in any way that you desire. You choose the feeling you would most like to consume and a friendly barista prepares it for you. Based on your decision, it comes in a hue of the color spectrum that most suits your needs and moved in the moment. You sit upon a white velvet upholstered deep armchair, reminiscent of an opulent time in the 1960s, yet somehow it's still modern as it conforms to your body. Fellow passengers arrive and you relish in the unique Patter of different languages and vocal tones where words not need to be understood for the energy to be conveyed and felt. Everyone is excited and kind and there is a generosity of spirit and shared spark of adventure that unifies you. You sip your elixir, feeling the sensations that you most needed to feel in this moment. Noting as the cool liquid cascades down your throat. 
The flavor is not so simple as sweet or bitter or sour. It tastes of the complexities of your sense memory, triggering happy visions of the past that have been stored deep within you and now float to the surface as if conjured to be the cell that you need. These impressions align with all that you hoped to experience. And it's so nice to get things to go your way. You look out the panoramic windows that give a view of the sky above and the pristine landscape of mountains as the train leaves the station, accelerating slowly at first, then coming to full speed. The glittering stars are like silver streaks from a motion blur as you look through the skylight windows. You relish the gentle motion of the train as it glides like a monorail with the smoothness of a great white egret taking flight. The female attendant makes an announcement that soon you will be entering the first portal going back to the earliest sleeper car experiences in the late 19th century, distilling the highlights of the time in a perfect experience. The focus of this trip is to find pleasure and to connect with the timeless aspects of the human experience. This is meant to be customized and will be seen through the lens of your own imagination. The final portal will come at the end of the experience and you may retreat to the safety of your sleeping car to connect with a moment from your own personal history. As this has all been explained in all necessary languages, you share a smile and a cheers with the fellow travelers on this journey and feel a camaraderie and connectedness that makes you feel less alone on this trip. It is as if you have formed an instant bond over your common quests and personal traits that allowed you to sign up for this adventure to begin with. The train rounds the mountain with fluidity and from afar it is like a shimmering white ribbon floating on a winter's breeze as it weaves through the dark terrain. And suddenly the train approaches a tunnel through the mountain and flashes of light appear. The bright lights cause you to close your eyes and create a strobe pattern on your closed eyelids as the train makes a series of cracking and snapping sounds like the sounds of a campfire in summer. And then there is a stillness and you are suddenly cast and the amber glow of a late day sun as you open your eyes. Dust has settled on the small windows atop the train, which now resembles a 19th century steam locomotive riding through the American West. You find yourself adorned in period clothing of the time noting the heaviness of the wool fabric upon your skin and the many layers of clothing that you wear. It gives you a strong awareness of your body 
as it takes effort to move beneath the fashions of the time. But you are warm and content. Looking out the window to see open prairies with rolling tumbleweeds in the distance. The ground is untouched with brown red dirt that bakes in the hot sun. Your fellow passengers are adorned in fashionable trends as the ladies are wearing corsets that make their waistlines trim beneath bustles that keep their heavy dresses lifted. Luxurious for the times, you note the feathered hats and shades of emerald green and sapphire blue that match the embroidered patterns on their laced up boots. The men are in top coats with velvet collars over their vests and tailored twill pants in shades of camel and black. The glass bar of the future is now a hand-carved bar made of cherry wood, and you go to it to order a sarsaparilla, the drink of the time, made of birch oil and sassafras at a time when carbonation was thought to be medicinal. As you take the glass mug with the beverage, you catch yourself in the mirror. But for your eyes and bone structure of your face, for a moment you do not recognize yourself in this era. There is an authenticity to your appearance that surprises even you. You smile and take the beverage back to your seat, which is now a simple bench that is firm beneath you. Looking out the window, you feel the cool beverage hit your lips, and it is a welcome reprieve from the hot, stilted, dusty air of the train car. The rocking back and forth is soothing to you as you look out on the untouched landscape and seemingly endless cornflower blue sky. The bucolic landscape is sparse. Before an occasional basic cabin, where children run around in their dusty overalls and earth-toned dresses. A horse and carriage runs parallel to the train tracks, heading into town. But the train veers off in a different direction, heading towards open prairies, now cast in a pink hue as the sun begins to set and a herd of American bison, also known as American buffaloes, stampede through the open land. Their hooves pound the earth with such vigor that you may even feel the vibrations over the movement of the locomotive as it chugs along. You look at these galloping beasts with woolly caramel fur that grows upon the incline of their backs, while the rest of their bodies are a deep chocolate brown. Like a compass, their ivory horns guide them westerly towards the setting sun, and coal black eyes reveal sparks of light and sheer will. You sense this enduring spirit of determination was felt by the people of this time as well, who created a transcontinental railway system upon which you now ride. 
and these same vibrant souls ventured west for the unknown, for the chance of adventure and fortune and something new. The buffaloes disappear southerly as the train comes upon the Dell Creek Bridge a majestic 650-foot bridge that was one of the greatest challenges in completing the railway. And as the metal wheels of the locomotive meet the rails across the iron bridge, once again the train goes through another portal in time and space as a mist forms around the bridge, rising up from the creek below. From the inside of the train, it appears as if the train is going through a cloud, and then suddenly everything around you transforms, and you are aboard the Orient Express. Traveling within the sapphire blue train with an elegant gold insignia of two lions facing one another. You relish in the luxury of train travel in the 1930s. The Simplon Orient Express was the first train to make its way from the exotic city of Istanbul to the romantic city of love, Paris. The restaurant car is in a variety of soothing blue tones and you feel the soft carpet beneath your leather-soled shoes. The women are in fancy mid-length dresses made of silks from the Orient in rich jewel tones while the men are in three-piece wool suits accessorized with wide silk ties and handkerchiefs folded neatly in their jacket pockets. A piano player in the corner of the car plays happy and jazzy melodies that create a festive vibe as the evening hour for cocktails and dinner begins. Riding through Austria, the landscape is a blanket of fresh white snow upon evergreen trees and the Austrian Alps that appear a steely blue-gray against twilight sky. A crescent of a moon hangs overhead as snow continues to heavily fall and the winter's wind whistles outside as the train car is warm and cozy inside. You are set in the era that was the heyday of train travel. The energy of the train car is celebratory and glorious, as all earthly cares have been cast aside. The sounds of clinking crystal glasses and silverware are the percussion that meets the harmony of voices in international dialects and languages. As supper is served, the smells of savory first-class meals fills the room, mingling with the fragrance of French perfume and men's cologne, creating a unique scent, and they always take you back to this experience. And you reflect on how certain smells can easily transport you back in time. You look at the window, watching as large snowflakes that crystallize lace are falling against the panoramic glass and freezing upon it. They leave a hypnotic pattern that becomes a filter through which 
you see the mountainous landscape that seems menacing outside. But you feel safe. It is as if you are watching. But you feel safe because it is like watching a movie from the cozy confines of the dining car. And you can feel the levity and lightness of the time period. People connecting with one another when train travel was so alluring. A young couple cloaked in opulent fabrics and jewels are carefree as they dance in the center of the train car. You look around the space, feeling so fulfilled that the contentment is making you feel tired as you begin to yawn and your eyes begin to blear. The sapphire and marine blue tones of the dining car start to make you feel as if you are under the deep blue sea. A heaviness takes over your body and you rise to make your way to the sleeping car. As you walk between train cars, the Orient Express goes across a bridge and through another time portal. And when you come into the sleeper car, the hallway resembles a hallway of your own personal past. It is a hallway that leads you to a familiar dwelling, overlapping the passageway of the train like a hologram. This hallway is perhaps from your childhood or from adulthood. But it is a pathway that has led you to your favorite room for sleeping in this life. Contained within a moving train car that acts as a pod encapsulating this memory. You recognize you are gliding through two places at once. The train in the hallway of your past. You come upon the mahogany door that leads to your sleeper and grasp the engraved brass doorknob, feeling the cool impressions it leaves on your palm. And as you open the door, you are suddenly inside a room that has always made you feel safe. Safe to fall asleep and dream. A room where you had the kindest of dreams. A room where you were cared for and tended to and loved. And you take this time to take it all in. The bedding and the bed. The smells that conjure a son's memory that resides deep within you. You notice the other furniture and walls, finding magic in the mundane things that once escaped your attention. But being able to relive this, you are overwhelmed with gratitude that this has all returned to you. You take in a deep breath as you go to the end of the bed and find pajamas from another time. Perhaps footed pajamas from your childhood or a sleep shirt or nightgown. 
or perhaps something you wore comfortably later in life. These sleep clothes remind you of all the times you found respite and comfort in a dream-filled sleep. Whatever you find, you feel peace as you shed your clothing and change into these bed clothes. They smell familiar as well, comforting you deeply. You pull back the covers and they are in a color and pattern scheme you thought you had forgotten. But suddenly they are refreshed and brought back to life. You lower yourself into the bed in this favorite room within a moving train car and allow your head to fall upon the pillows. Perhaps there are stuffed animals or other comforting items of the past that are on the bed or in the room for you to feel at ease. And you feel so heavy and you feel so tired. You feel snug and grateful as the train car rocks you back and forth. And you are in the remembered comforts of a bed that brought you peace of a time and place in your life where sleep came easily and without thought or effort. You are able to just cross the bridge into your dreaming life. And as you feel so warm and cozy, so comfortable, you can feel the gratitude warming your heart center and bringing a spontaneous smile to your face. For you have made it back to the place where you may always return safely in the locket of your memory and in a state of grace, tranquility, and peace, you may at last give in to a night of deep healing sleep. It's time to dream.